Oh, well, uh, okay, so uh, to show you this uh, ukulele. Um, I'll just play it for a bit and then we can have a look at it. is a uh, tenor 17 inch scale it's uh, basically it's uh, in spruce and macaw on the back and sides let's just have a, a closer look at that spruce top it's actually what they call bear claw spruce uh, that's because of the, the way that the figure in the spruce resembles uh, a sort of bear claw pattern as if the tree had been uh, uh, had by a bear uh, when it was standing in North America. This is Sitka spruce. It's a, a rare thing that happens through the trees and it's quite highly prized for the way it looks and it, as you can see it gives a, a lovely figured uh, appearance to the top rather than the, just a straight plain look that you get normally on spruce. So that's the Sitka spruce uh, bare claw top. Very stiff, very vibrant top. Uh, while we're there, I've got uh, a walnut bridge with ebony inlaid into the sides, got boxwood pins and a compensated Corian saddle. The rosette is arranged very close to the edge there, just subtly. Uh, lots of little tiny um, brick-like uh, features. Uh, it's a purfling which runs all the way around there. You can perhaps just pick it up. And it's a really good visual match for the colours of the back and side wood, which is macaw. And you can also see there um, the uh, binding which I've used, which is Tasmanian blackwood. It's very highly figured blackwood. It's got real loads of little flames running all the way around it. And uh, I can testify to. Uh, the difficulty of getting that on, that's probably why you don't see it very often on a, a uke because it's, it's rather difficult to bend. Uh, but there it is, I've managed. Uh, on the end there is an Athuya burr, which is a, another exotic piece of wood. Uh, it matches perfectly this uh, lovely uh, binding. I'll put a, a snake wood uh, end pit on as well. So you can start to see the macaw as well is it's got an amazing figure. I mean, I'll try and sort of you see that there. All the quilting. I mean, it's it's literally covered in quilting and figure, back and sides. Um, it's really, really spectacular stuff, lovely. And uh, I'm fighting my high gloss finish there, but uh, you can you can see it. Uh, on the heel cap there, I've got uh, more of the Athelia boo there with a little black line underneath it to give a de uh, definition around the edge. Neck is a sapelli mahogany. Uh, I thought that the tone of that just matched in perfectly with the whole thing. Uh, it's a, a, a really nice match. I've used a, a walnut flat, uh, fretboard and you might be able to pick up that it's actually got flame in the, the, the fretboard which is unusual. Uh, on a quarter sawn piece which I've obviously used for the fretboard it's quite unusual to get that kind of um, definition of flame on there. Um, pearl dots all the way on the front, just tiny ones, and a complete set of even smaller dots down the edge there for the player. So you've got all the dots you might require, but they don't dominate. Um, headstock is Tasmanian blackwood. That's got that very tight flame on it, which matches the bindings. Uh, Grover tuners, lovely. Uh, smooth acting tuners, uh, another piece of curry in there for the nut. Um, okay, I think we've been around it. Uh, I'll just play a little bit more for you. Um, some just sort of uh, basic strumming, I suppose.
quick round, uh, a tenner ukulele, in spruce and uh, macaw uh, by Chris Perkins.